Yo, guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on new Ark Survival Ascended. And it is fantastic. This game is amazing. It really is awesome. There's only one glaring, terrible, not great, really just an awful problem, right? And I'll talk about that in a second because I think overall, yes, the game is a reskin. We all knew it was. It's just an update to Unreal 5.2 or 5.1, whatever it's on. And it looks amazing, right? Like as long as you have your graphic settings on high, I don't think anyone can possibly say it got worse, right? Like, look at this. Like you have the ability to have that kind of stuff. Most of the players on this game, they just play for fun. They don't play competitive PVP. They don't do any of that stuff. They actually fix the water so it looks like water that you're in. And when you go up in the air, you've got the clouds, the fog of war. They updated a few things. They made building a little simpler with, uh, with some basic stuff. They made just a ridiculous amount of upgrades to the system that already existed because it's still one of the most popular games in the entire world. And they just put some big upgrades on it, right? So it still looks pretty. You can take it down to zero to basically make it become Ark, like just your old version of Ark again. Don't forget that. Um, and, and they do have plans to change some of the things and like even this like right like just generic small things that you notice it looks prettier the mesh detail is better the trees fall things change um, when your larger dinos move through things they actually knock things over and things look like they're getting knocked around all kinds of crazy stuff right um, but there's only one glaring problem that exists within arc right now and it's not even really with arc and that's the sad thing right this is why I personally think Ark is going Ark Survival Ascended, not the old Ark. I think the old Ark is going to be fine. Um, but the new version of Ark, Ark Survival Ascended, is probably going to die out insanely, insanely fast. Now, the answer is pretty simple, actually. It comes down to the fact that Ark have agreed with Nitrato to have exclusive rights to their servers. Now, I think what people don't understand is a majority of the people that play ARC do not play. They don't play ARC for PVP. They don't even play on official servers. I would say at least 90% of the people that play ARC either play one on their own system or two on the unofficial server network, which has thousands upon tens of thousands, if not more than that, overall um, servers that run on just old arc if you don't believe me go look at the statistics it's wild um, i myself ran one and it's it's the, the number of people that have their own servers is crazy so there was all kinds of server companies right that used to offer different types of pricing different types of things you could get different types of stuff and that's great in all but however by signing this new contract with nitrato what arc has done is they've said none of them can do anything anymore which is a big problem because now the only person that can have any sort of server, if you want to play with your friends, if you just feel like playing with your friends, right? Normally you'd just look for a server company that you liked or that you wanted to pay for or that you wanted to do. And you went with them. Now that's in, that's in any great Minecraft arc, anything that has rust, anything, you name it, you can purchase a server for it and then get that space available for you. Now with, the issue, again, let's back up just a second here. The issue with this is that you've basically created a monopoly. So that company that you've agreed with can now charge whatever they feel like to have servers. And I was like, you know what, fine. Maybe I'll just give it the benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna log in and I'm gonna see how much it would take for me to run a server cluster using this company. So I was like, okay, cool. Got to the website, looked at the cost. It is way more expensive than anything I've ever seen for Arc, right? They're charging for a 60 slot server. I think it was like $85 per month, which is crazy. That's 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 insane. Now, assuming I'm okay with that, right? So I, I'm assuming okay with the $85 a month for just a 60 slot server. One, the servers aren't done. They have a lot of work to go. And they just made an announcement with that same company that if you use mods on the Nitrato servers, it'll break. So you can't even use mods. So you're basically just playing official on your own unofficial network. Now, not only that, but here's where it gets even funnier. So you've got the fact that you can't do anything. You've got the fact that you're now limited to not using mods at all. And on top of all of this, so you've got the crazy cost that you can't change because they're the only people you can go to. I just, it's, it's almost worth not even saying, right? Because you get to a point, what's their value to provide good servers? They don't have any competition. 
They've already had errors on day one. What's the value? I, I can't see one. That's it. I can't see one because I looked today and I wanted to see. There's the cost, right? The next thing that was available for me to purchase after having a $85 server a month was in Tokyo, Japan with a ping of 999 milliseconds. That was the only one available for purchase. So people are buying them and there's not enough. So you literally can't in this pretty game with all these changes like you're seeing right now, you can't even play the game. I, I'm not usually someone that gets involved in the politics of it, but I think it was a terrible decision. And I think that Ark Survival Ascended is gonna die very rapidly because people can't do what they enjoy playing with their friends on unofficial networks because the official network is very toxic, whether you're playing PVP or PVE. PVE players just totally box the entire map up so you can only have certain areas. And PVP players, just whoever has the most hours wins. So that's all it is. Whereas an unofficial network, you get server restarts, you get all kinds of bonuses, you get all kinds of fix actions, all kinds of stuff. So long story short, this map is lovely. They fixed a lot of things. They made a whole bunch of Unreal 5 updates, right? Unreal changes, you might call them. But they kind of soured the entire thing with, they've essentially told their entire player population that you can have this game, but you can only play if you pay Nitrato, which is crazy. Even on the official arc, I'm gonna go back here, right? I'm gonna go ahead and exit to main menu. Sorry for this rant, I had to say it. I don't know why, I just felt like saying it. I go to press to start, right? I want to create a game. I want to do any of this, right? It's cool. I can't have my own server. If I want to join a game, want to own your own ARC server. It's literally a link to Nitrato because there is no other way to do it. Now I'll look at the unofficial. Look at the player population. These are people playing, paying for their own individual servers and there are only one or two people playing on it. There's twos, threes, thirteens, twenty twos. That's crazy to me, right? There's almost as many unofficial servers as there are official servers. Now, I get it. That's a little bit of a stretch, but there's also a lot of these that aren't listed because you can hide your server and make it private. These are all public joinable servers. A lot of people just don't do that because they don't care. But you can't have anything else. You can have non-dedicated on your own personal machine, but everyone's got to be logged in at the same time. That's crazy to me, right? Yes. It's wild, but you click on want to own your ARC server and up on top of my screen right now, you can't see it. It brings me to nitrato.com and it tells me that I have to pay $85 for a server in Tokyo, Japan. Not great. Not a great look. Personal opinion, not a great look. Love the game. I'm going to play the crap out of this game. I am not going to play on unofficial and official networks, which prevents like provides a longevity to the game. I'm going to play my own personal servers where I can only click on the island or Svartal if I'm and I'm just gonna play single player mode, which is fine. And there's nothing wrong with that, but that's essentially what ARK have caused us to do. And I hope that's not the case for ARK 2 because that will kill ARK 2 faster than anyone could care to count. So again, this is all personal opinion. All of it's based in fact, but that's how I feel. I wish there was a better answer. I don't know, maybe tell me what you guys think. Maybe, maybe I'm going about this the wrong way. I really hope that I am. Um, but that's my personal opinion. You need to take that for what you will. So leave, leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. If you agree, if you disagree, I'm fine with you disagreeing with me. I can be convinced that this is a proper solution, that this is the right call. I just, I don't know. Like after playing for all, I literally played all day today and yesterday. I love this game. I think there's a lot of really cool additions. I think there's a lot of big changes that are present. I just think that it's really important for people to understand that not allowing other companies to do something and then that same company charging an exorbitant amount of money for servers that don't even work it's a hard move anyways smack that like button leave a comment below consider subbing to the channel and other than that teach out